A bit of a break in the action out there this afternoon and evening, but after midnight, expect heavier rain and freezing rain to move it back into town, impacting various parts of the KSAT viewing area differently. Major impacts up in the hill country, that's where it's going to be the worst. Up to three quarters of an inch of ice accumulation possible, especially on the elevated surfaces, including tree limbs and power lines, which will likely lead to power outages. We've already had some in Gillespie County. We're expecting more tonight and tomorrow morning. Travel not recommended in there, in that area. Then we get right along the Bear County line here on the north side and southern Comal County. That's where we have the modern moderate impact, even stretching into southern Bandera County. Icy elevated surfaces, likely. Some surface roads could even have some ice. Travel troubles with isolated power outages. I think you'll especially wake up to ice on the, on the street signs, ice on your vehicle if you park outside by tomorrow morning in that zone. Farther to the south, we're talking south of 1604 all the way to Highway 90. Mainly just some elevated surfaces getting a bit of ice at times. That's just some bridges and overpasses. That's our concern. Here's a look at our future cast. We'll take you through time here. And I think just of most importance is how the rain picks up in intensity after midnight tonight and through the morning commute tomorrow. We are anticipating widespread icing in the hill country, localized issues in and around parts of Bear County, especially on the north side of town. And then it all tapers off and starts to come to an end by late Wednesday and on into early Thursday. Temperature wise, we're going to drop down to about 32 tonight, only 34 by tomorrow afternoon, mid 30s Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then Thursday afternoon with some sunshine, 47. So improvements by Friday, sunny near 60 this weekend, sunny and well into the 60s.